when designing se sequential circuits, there is a um, logical series of steps to take to get to the end product, which is a, a design. You start with a state diagram, which I've already drawn here on the right. From that, we're going to create a state table. Then we'll assign binary values to the states, and we'll use that to create a binary state table, which is uh, a lot more like a K-map. And finally, we'll do uh, minimization um, and design of our circuit. Okay, so to begin with, we would take this state diagram, which um, in this particular example we're given, and we're going to um, create a state table from that. And it, remember the long, uh, long-term goal here is that we're going to create this finite state machine that takes an x value and outputs some y value dependent upon what comes in and what state the machine is in at some uh, given point of time. So it could be in either A state, B state, or state. C state. Okay, so we'll start by creating our um, uh, state table. And the state table is just simply a table that shows if you're somewhere and an input comes in, what do you do? So if we're, we're either at A, B, or C, and we're either going to go somewhere or stay in the same place depending upon what we feed into the circuit. So this would be the present state and this would be X. X going into the box. Okay, and so just from looking at the diagram we see that if we're at A and we feed in a zero then we go back to A and we stay at zero. So this is A zero. If we feed it a one, we f go to B and we change to one. If we're at B and we feed a zero in, we switch to zero and we stay in B. So we go B zero. If our input is one, then a one, we switch to C and we change to zero. If we're in C and we feed a zero, we go back to B and we switch to one. And finally, if uh, we feed a one in, then we'll go to A and we'll switch to one. And so that's our state table. Now we want to come up with <clears throat> a series of binary um, uh, assignments that we can give A, B, and C. So the smallest number of assignments that we could possibly give would be uh, two variables. So that means that we need to have uh, a minimum of two flip-flops. Uh, in the lecture uh, it was mentioned that one way of doing that would be if you use three flip-flops you could do this and each flip-flop would only uh, uh, work when it's set to one. But we're not going to do that. Um, we'll use the method that we used in class which was to assign two flip-flops Q1 Q0 and A, B, and C and we'll just say that A will be 0, 0 B will be 0, 1, and C will be 1, 0. And there will not be a situation in which both flip-flops will be set to 1, so those will be don't cares. So now what we're going to do is use this binary state assignment and create a state table. So essentially it's going to look almost identical to this, except that it's going to have all the possible scenarios because we want to use this to create um, logic minimization so we do care about the don't cares okay and there are going to be 
three. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm getting ahead of myself here. We'll create our state table first, binary state table. And all we really do is we just switch in Q1 and Q0 and X. And wherever we see an A, we'll feed in a 0, 0, a B, a 0, 1, and a C, a 1, 0. Okay, so just looking up here, I have this is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Not quite a K map yet. Okay, A is 0, 0, so this is 0, 0, slash 0. This is 0, 1, slash 1. This is um, 0, 1, slash 0. This is C, 0, so it's 1, 0, slash 0. And B is 0, 1, 0, 1, slash 1. And A is 0, 0, slash 1. And then down here we have don't cares. Okay. From this, we now want to feed in our, um, we, we want to create our um, expressions for each of the different variables. There are three variables here. Uh, well, there's there's an uh, there are three functions. One of them is the output, which is a function of the input and the states. Um, and then each of the states are a function of the input and the present state. So the next state for Q zero is a function of its current state plus the current state of Q one plus the input. Okay, so we're going to th create three K maps and they're going to look identical in setup. Okay, zero, 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 one, 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 zero. Uh, so we want to keep in mind that we've now converted to a K map, so these have flipped over, right? So the first one is going to be the output function of the Y variable, which is a function of X, Q1, and Q0. And when we put it together, we're going to look at, these are the outputs here on the bottom of the slash. So we want to look at all the places where in this binary state table we get a 1. These are don't cares. And we get a 1 here and here. And we get a 1 here. So when we do our logic minimization, we'll get um, this will reduce to Q1. Or not Q1, not Q0, and X. So that's the equation for Y. The equation for Q1 next, again, dependent upon all of the same variables. Now we just look on our binary state table at where does uh, what are we doing? We're doing Q1, right? Where does Q1 equal 1? And we have our two don't cares. And we have a 1, and that's it. That's right here, right? So um, that is going to minimize to let's see this is 0. It's going to minimize to Q0 x. Okay, and then finally, when we do the next one, we'll do the exact same process. We're going to look for all the places 
where Q0 switches to 1. And there are quite a few more of them. I've got 1, And wait a second, Q, I'm sorry, Q naught, zero, one, one, and one. Okay, so now uh, we'll do logic minimization. We get this, we get that, and we get that. So this becomes. Um, Q naught equals uh, not Q naught not Q one plus NX or with not with uh, Q naught. and not x or with q1 and not x and so now we have our three uh, our three equations just making sure that's right and indeed it is so in the next video we'll take a look at how to take these equations and turn them into uh, an actual sequential design